Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, uh, lecture, uh, solitary lecture in this section on how to become an AI engineer, what is the roadmap to become an AI engineer in this course, Master in Artificial Intelligence. So in this section we will help you learn about the roadmap that you can use to become a successful artificial intelligence after having learned all that you would need to do and let's take a look at how can you become that. So, what do you think? What do you need to do to become a successful AI engineer? See, this involves becoming a successful AI engineer involves a combination of education, right education, having right skills, developing the right skills, practical experience and learning continuously. Now, what are the various steps that you can uh, take to pursue a career in AI engineering and strive for success? Let's take a look at them. So, first you need to obtain a solid foundation in the science, mathematics and statistics as these are fundamental to understanding AI concepts and algorithm. So, that is the starting point. Then you need to pursue a bachelor's degree in computer science, mathematics, engineering, or a related field could be something related to that right and uh, finally you need to consider pursuing advanced degree such as masters or phd in artificial intelligence machine learning or a specialized area of ai so that is the kind of educational background you need to build then you need to develop strong programming skills uh, in languages commonly used in ai development such as python R and Java and learn popular AI libraries and frameworks uh, such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit and Keras. So and, and that's the way you can gain proficiency in the right programming languages and areas. Then you need to gain expertise in machine learning and deep learning techniques and these uh, specific techniques that you must become good at are supervised learning as we explained to you unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, neural networks, convolutional uh, neural networks, CNNs and RNNs and transformers. So there that's where you need to gain expertise and also you need to get stay updated in latest developments uh, and research in machine learning and deep learning by reading research papers, attending conferences and participating in online courses and tutorials. So get some deep learning in deep learning and machine learning. Then you learn how to handle data and pre-process uh, uh, data effectively uh, and that includes uh, techniques like feature imaging that we covered in this course, data normalization, dimensionality reduction, as, and uh, so that's and data cleaning also as we uh, talk to you. Then gain experience working with large databases and understanding data structures and formats. So that's the kind of experience, skill and knowledge you need to build in data handling and pre-processing. Then develop ability to implement machine learning algorithms and models from scratch right from beginning as well as optimize existing algorithms for performance and scalability. Learn about optimization techniques, uh, parallel computing and distributed systems to handle large scale AI tasks. And that's what you need to do for algorithm implementation and optimization. Cultivate strong problem solving and uh, critical thinking skills as AI engineering often involves uh, uh, complex uh, and ambiguous problems and practice breaking problems into manageable components which you need to do, identify gaps, uh, identify key insights and uh, develop a creative solution. So that's the kind of problem solving and critical thinking skills you need to develop. Uh, improve your collaboration and communication skills by working on team projects. Uh, participating in group discussion and presenting your work to them. Learn how to effectively communicate uh, 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 technical concepts, particularly to non-technical stakeholders and clients, as we have talked to you and taught you in this course so far. Uh, again, hands-on experience uh, by working on AI projects, 
participating in hackathons and contributing to open source projects and also build a portfolio for yourself showcasing your AI projects including description of the problem, your approach, implementation details and the results achieved and that's how you can gain the practical experience in projects and showcase that to the world. Uh, stay updated about the latest uh, trends, tools and techniques, uh, uh, technologies used in AI engineering by following industry blogs, participating workshops and taking online courses as we had mentioned to you earlier also. Embrace a growth mindset and be open to learning new skills, adapting to evolving technologies and methodologies. So stay updated and learn continuously. Uh, prioritize uh, ethical and uh, responsible AI development is becoming more and more important. Uh, prioritize ethical considerations in AI development including fairness, transparency, accountability and privacy. Advocate for responsible AI practices and contribute to creating AI solutions that benefit society while minimizing potential harm. Uh, so by following these steps that we outlined here in this lecture and continuously, continually investing in your education and skill development, you can work towards becoming a successful AI engineer and making a meaningful and responsible contribution in the field of artificial intelligence. So what do we do next? Isn't this time to summarize the course now? This course, Master in Artificial Intelligence? Absolutely right. And that's what we will do in the next lecture. So thank you so much for watching this uh, uh, lecture and section on Roadmap to Become AI Engineer. I hope you have continued to learn again, continuing to enjoy. And I do look forward to see you again in the next lecture. <clears throat> Please feel free to message me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer your question and also download the PDF file to take a look at anything that you need to.